Good morning. It's Tuesday. Um, Joel just went to go play hockey. And I'm watching Grease. And later on today, the cable people are supposed to come, hopefully. So I'm just going to sit down and watch Grease for now until Joel gets back from hockey. So Joel's home now. And we're going to watch Miracle. Um, the one where the U.S. beats the Olympic hockey Russian team. Because we got it in the $5 bin at Walmart the other day. But he just went to go move his car because when he first got here there were no spots but one literally just opened up so he's gonna go move his car off the street for now and yeah we're gonna watch this movie together so Joel I look naked I have shorts on um Joel made us milkshakes for dinner because we're adults and they're giant mason jars full of milkshakes and I'm excited. And what are we gonna do now? Mm -hmm. Netflix? NCIS. So it's late at night and Joel's asleep and I did this. So I wrote a bunch of cheesy quotes like around our mirror, but the center's still empty so we can use it. It's like we make a repair. Um, I find you appealing with a banana. Peas be my which is peas. I love you more than serial killer slot vans. And then I tried to draw a van, but it's not very good. I'll love you with an olive. You're my boo with a ghost. If you were a fruit, you'd be fine apple, which is a pineapple. And then I think you're lacking in vitamin me with a pill. My name isn't Sully, but will you be my boo with a makeshift Sully? And then you stole a piece of my heart. And then, will you be my valentine? And then in our shower, I drew this. It's my heart with mostly Joel and then food and cows. And I think he'll get a kick out of it. Because tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Hi. Um, I don't know what's going on this week. I'm tired. Uh, but, and it's Friday. But we should be going bowling tonight with Keely and Logan. But I just have some tidying up to do before we can go do that. But I'm going to change out of work clothes first. And I'll show you me tidying a little bit. So we're going to start in the kitchen. Because I got a new knife set yesterday and I kind of have all the garbage here. And I got that yesterday and we're going to fill that up. So let's do this. So this stuff that's left is kind of just like other room stuff. Um, so I gotta go disperse it to all the rooms first before I can clean. So taping the living room getting clean was a complete fail. And my angle was real bad. 
So, like, instead of having this, you had, like, this. And you could just see, like, the top of the couch and, like, my upper body. So, yeah. I'll just, I'll just show you now that it's clean. <laughs> so, all the stuff that once was is now gone besides the stuff that belongs out here. And then the craft that I'm going to do right now. Doors. <laughs> I said that a few times, but I'm really going to today because the house is pretty clean. And Joel just has to take out two last boxes, which I don't know if me and Keely are going to or if he's going to. So, yeah. So when you first go in, you turn to your right and you have the bathroom. And we just have this little storage unit thing and our sink. And a giant mirror that I really like with the bathtub and the toilet. Then you go back out into the hallway and you take your left and we have the living room. We just have a couch and a couple tables. We have gray curtains on our big windows and then a giant bookshelf that has games, movies, and stuff like that. I also decorated for St. Patrick's Day already. Joel was just watching TV here. But then we have our coat closet, which just has our socks and stuff up top, our jackets, and then our shoes, along with our vacuum and bowling balls on the bottom. Then you go into the dining room. We just have a table and some folding chairs because we haven't gotten a new one yet, along with a little storage unit. And then you can go into the kitchen. And I have like a metro rack thing our baker's rack, our fridge all decorated, the lots of covered space and some dishes I have to do. Then we have a stove. And then we have a plant with our garbage along with the Keurig behind the door. Then this is Joel's man cave. I really like how we put the fishing poles up top, and then we have 33 feet of windows, along with his gun safe, some clean clothes, and then just a rack of all the leftover stuff from him. Next is our bedroom, and we don't have a bed frame yet, we're waiting for my brother to build this one. Those tote boxes are the leftover stuff we have to unpack. This is our closet, it's really deep, and also really tall. And then we just have our dirty laundry behind the door. And now we're going to my room. My room is like a makeup and craft room. And it just has all my stuff. And two little Sterilite containers. And a folding chair with a foldable table. Then in the hallway. There's a little storage space for like stuff we don't use all the time. And that's also really tall. But we just have that <coughs> stuff in there now. But if you continue down the hall, there's the second bedroom. In the second bedroom, it's basically empty besides our old bed frame and pictures we have to put up on the wall along with Easter decorations for right now. And then our house just makes one big loop and you'll be back in the dining room. So, 
it's later on today. We had a Nerf war earlier and I worked earlier. Um, but I fell asleep during watching a movie. We were watching Deadpool. So I started my Grey's episode now from last week. Excuse me. And now, I'm just relaxing. Joel went to go see if he can't get some fish he wanted to get. Because he got some big tanks from Keeley. But, yeah, I don't think we're up too much more this evening. But if we are, I'll let you know. Mm. So, I just found out that Freeform's, like, DVR on demand, I don't know which part it is, Thing has Lion King as one of their movies on here, and I really want to watch it. So Joel's just getting home with Taco Bell for the night, and we're going to watch Lion King and then call it a night. Excuse me. Um, so I'm going to call it a night now, and I shall see you next week. Good night.